might go for the red scarf or the brown one. I was thinking of the red, but it's a bit too cliche, don't you think? <laughs> Honestly, Crystal, I don't think that crush of yours is going to care about the color of your scarf. I think they'll just be happy to be around you. Uh, th that's besides the point. It's just... It's finally starting to feel like autumn, and I take autumn very seriously. Yeah, I know. That part of you hasn't changed since we were kids. Remember when we were still living by the lakefront? Mom and Dad would always take us on walks through the grove when leaves finally turned orange. They would always try to stop you from jumping into the various leaf piles. But they found it too adorable to even be taken serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. It really has been a long time, huh? When's the last time you visited them? Longer than I'd like. Well, when we get back, do you want to go together? Yeah, I'd like that. Hmm. So, um, anyway, which one? Red or brown? Actually, Crystal, if we're getting into serious topics of conversation, I'd like to give my two cents on this whole situation. Oh? Is something wrong? Look, I don't want to pry. I'm not trying to criticize. But don't you think you're moving a little too fast with them? Don't get me wrong, your crush seems like a nice person and all, but... <laughs> uh, Chris, you know that this thing between me and them has been going on for months now, right? It didn't just happen overnight. No, 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 I know. It, but it's just... I'm just a little... I'm just a little worried, is all. I mean, from what I know right now, they're away for grad school, right? Long-distance relationships aren't easy. And I'm not sure you know exactly what you're signing up for. We're not even in a proper relationship yet, Chris. All we know is that we like each other, and we've liked each other for quite some time now. Their sister and I practically grew up together, and they were there for me when no one else was. No, I know that, but- I get your concern, Chris. Really, I, I do, but I'm not a little kid anymore. I- know what I'm getting myself into, and I'm okay with it. No offense, but... You... You weren't... You weren't there. For any of it. The last time we saw each other properly was when we were kids. Saying our final goodbyes to Mom and Dad before they returned them to the Earth, and that was decades ago. I know. And I'm sorry. I should have reached out. But no, please don't. Don't apologize. It wasn't anyone's fault. It was just a cruel twist of fate. The point I'm trying to make is that you weren't there to witness any of it. You weren't there when they picked me up and dusted me off when I was learning how to ride a bike. You weren't there when they hugged me as I cried into their arms when my hamster died. You weren't there when they took me out for ice cream after graduation, or when they bought me and their sister our first drinks. You weren't there to see just how much they care about me. Nor I them. You really like this one, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, we didn't always get along when we were younger, but I suppose when I put it like that, it sounds stupid, huh? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm glad you found someone who's been so attentive to you over the years. Actually, I'm really relieved because of it. Really? Yeah. I guess it's just hard for me to accept that you're not the same little girl who would cry into my arms whenever someone would look at you sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a sensitive kid, wasn't I? Very much so. But it was endearing. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, uh, that's them. They're waiting in the lobby for me, and apparently Aiden is going to bake some stuff for us when we're done picking the apples. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to tag along? I'm sure they wouldn't mind. You can also do the whole big brother, if you hurt them, I'll end you speech. <laughs> <laughs> I could. And as entertaining as that'd be. I'd rather not. I love you, but I'm not in the mood to third wheel. I'll just go to make sure Aiden doesn't burn the entire inn down. Or hang out with that farm hand that Penny seems to hate. Or something. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll see you later then. And Chris? Hmm? Love you too. 
I'll see you later. Don't forget your scarf. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I really gotta go. Bye! Got it. Here, catch. I'm coming down now. Would you mind holding the ladder, please? I think we have enough for the apple pies Aiden wants to bake. You think we should pick some more? Um, okay, I guess, but maybe we should head to another part of the orchard and pick a different kind of apple? I'm sure the inn has baskets full of apples at their disposal, but I think it's a lot cuter if we did it. <laughs> yeah, although I think one basket full of honey crisps is enough. Do you have a type of apple in mind you want? Well, the Granny Smith part of the orchard is the closest. It's only a few minutes away. Okay, let's go. So, um, have you been enjoying White Oak Inn so far? I know this probably wasn't your original plan when you came back from school, but I hope you're having fun regardless. You have? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't get petting zoos like the ones here back in the city. I'm so glad Penny invited us all out here. <laughs> really? You might adopt one of the bunnies? Oh, that's the sweetest thing ever! What? Uh, I'm not being cute. You're being cute. Stop teasing. I'm not pouting. You're pouting. You're the one adopting a bunny after all. Really? You'll let me name it if I forgive you? Mm, okay. <laughs> Penny is so lucky she basically gets to live in perpetual autumn. <sighs> I do anything to live in autumn all year round. <laughs> yes, I know that's not how seasons work, but you... You get what I mean. Now can you tell? Yeah, autumn is my favorite season. Well, um, I don't know. I, uh, I guess it reminds me of my family before everything descended into chaos, I guess. Autumn is also a sign of change, where there was once nothing but greenery has since turned into a sea of orange, red, and yellow. Everything we've been waiting for to bloom into fruition does so at this time of year, too. Everything reaches its peak in autumn, which will inevitably bring about a new beginning. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? I'm not as el- 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 eloquent as you. Stop being mean. We're here. Mm, I don't see a ladder around here. Mm. Do you think you can pick them? You're much taller than me. <laughs> I'm not that short. You're just stupidly tall. Mm, five feet is not that short. <laughs> okay, maybe it is, but still. Just, just, mm, just pick the apples. No, no, no head pats. No, no, I, I don't hate them, but just, just pick the apples. Ooh, that 
one is nice. To your right. Nice, you got it. Toss it over and we can add it to the basket. Huh? Mm, what do you mean, no? But you have to. Otherwise, we won't have enough for the apple pies. I... I have to get it myself? Mm. <laughs> Fine. Stop! You're being so childish right now! Get it here! Sorry, I I didn't mean to. Are Are you okay? Did you Did you hit your head? I'm sorry. You're okay. Okay, that's good. I'm glad, but <laughs> hey, I got the apple, so I win. <laughs> huh? You let me win. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was your intention now, was it? <laughs> oh, um... Uh, um... Here, let me get off of you. What do you mean, no? I'm too heavy. <laughs> Come on, let me up. I... Uh, that... Uh, that doesn't matter, just... Mm. This is... Really close. I know, I, I know we've been closer before, but still, I... Mm. What? No, I... I don't... I don't hate it, but the ground is filthy and you're going to ruin your cardigan if we keep laying here. You don't care? But you... you should! It's a cream color and all the dirt isn't going to be easy to wash out and... Mm, why? You're not being fair. I wanted to kiss you first. <laughs> what do you mean we're even now? I kissed you first last time? But that wasn't a kiss. That was just, um... That was just me... Just... Happening to graze your lips with mine. <laughs> yes, that's all that was. <laughs> we should get up. Yeah. Well, uh, despite our little interlude there, as it were, I think we have enough apples to bring back. Wait, um, before we go any further, I, um, I have something to tell you, and if I don't tell you now, I'm afraid I won't be able to tell you at all. <sighs> I love you. I've been crushing on you for a while now, sure, but I've loved you for longer. I don't know when I started to, but I just... For as long as I can remember, you were the only person that comes to mind whenever someone would bring up the topic of relationships. I guess I didn't want to say anything until now because, well, you're my best friend's sibling. We practically grew up together. You were there for me through everything when I had no one else. Even when you didn't want to be, and I... I don't know, I just... I guess I just can't imagine being with anyone else other than you. <laughs> Please don't... Don't say anything. I didn't tell you this for you to say it back or to try and convince you to be with me or whatever. I just... 
we're both at a point in life where getting into a committed relationship isn't the best idea. I mean, you're not going to be permanently back from school for another half a year, and I'm going to start trade school soon. We won't be able to see each other for long stretches of time, and I... I don't know. Yeah, Chris did express his concerns earlier today, and as much as I want to brush them off as older brother vigilance, he's unfortunately right. Things are changing. <laughs> yeah, just... just like things change in autumn. I don't want our relationship to be ruined because of time and distance, which is why I didn't pursue anything more before you went off to school. I guess I just wanted to live in my own little fantasy where I would treat each little moment we spent together as precious mementos I can take with me wherever I go. <laughs> it's funny. I was trying to prove to Chris that I wasn't a little girl anymore, yet I still continue to act like this. <laughs> You feel the same way? You want to try? I, I'm not tearing up, I just, something just got in my eye. Shut up. Let me hide my face in your arms for a bit. Are you sure? I don't want you to regret anything. You won't? Will I regret it? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm just... I'm really happy that we're trying this out. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Everything will work out just as long as we're honest with each other. Besides, you're only going to be gone for another six months when you head back to school. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> it's Penny. She wants to know when we're going to be back since she got all her chores done, and she's going to start helping Aiden in the kitchen now. <laughs> yeah, let's head back. <laughs> no, <laughs> It's just, I guess my brother was right. Had he tagged along, things would have been really awkward for him. 